Hey there friends, kind of a fun interesting story for you today. I don't know if you guys noticed, but a, a few days ago there was a video that got leaked out and it looked like and appeared to be and in fact was one of Elon Musk's Tesla Cybertrucks that was riddled with not bullet holes but bullet indentions on the left hand side of the vehicle. Well, after the video surfaced on Twitter, Elon Musk actually commented on the post and said, we emptied the entire drum of a Tommy gun into the driver's door Al Capone style. No bullets penetrated into the passenger compartment. Now, you guys know the whole cyber truck story. This is Elon Musk's uh, offering into the truck world via the Tesla brand. And real quick, friends, I've got to point out that I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed the same thing, that I think I have found the inspiration behind this truck, these little wooden toy cars. It looks like Elon took a combination of these two to get this really innovative truck design. And I know there's reasons behind him choosing this simplistic squared off design. But again, I'm pretty sure I found the muse of Elon online. They had a launch, I believe it was last year, that they were actually bragging about how the windows were bulletproof. Prior to that, somebody had tried beating on the doors with a sledgehammer with the windows rolled up. And, of course, the guy did not give it a full whack. He was hitting the Ford truck door pretty hard. And you could see him kind of giving up on the Tesla door. But then he tried throwing an iron ball or a steel ball, rather, at the window. And it immediately broke the window in the front and immediately broke the rear window. Musk came back later and said that he thinks and was pretty sure that the hitting of the sledgehammer on the door broke a layer of glass on the very bottom of it. Therefore, the ball was able to break the glass. He's saying that if they would have thrown the steel ball first, it would not have broken the glass if they'd have done that before they used the hammer on the door. Whatever. I don't care. I mean, it's this is comical to me. Uh, you do see the bullet holes, and yes, there are no actual holes, it's just the indentations. Now, it makes you wonder if he's going to be selling some of these to the local school districts in Chicago, Detroit, New Orleans, wherever we have these high crime rates in these Democrat-run cities, because obviously they would make pretty good school buses if they are, in fact, bulletproof, but they're not. Let's go back to Musk's statement. He said that these were bullet holes that were made by a Tommy gun. Guys, let's remember that a Tommy gun shoots a 45 caliber round. This is a big, fat, slow projectile. It's unlikely to pierce stainless steel, which it did not in this case. That's not the most popular round. If he were driving his Cybertruck during the Al Capone days, he would have had a better chance of it being bulletproof. This ain't the Al Capone days. A 45 caliber, if you were caught using a 45 caliber for self-defense on the street, you're going to be called some names, and they start with a B and end with Umer. Boomers are the guys who are being made fun of all the time for carrying a 1911, sporting a 45 caliber round uh, in the chamber. So I don't see that very often. I don't think that is going to be an issue. And I certainly don't see the gangbangers running around carjacking using a Tommy gun with a drum magazine. So my fear is the, the American people inherently are stupid. There's a lot of dumb Americans. There's a lot of what I like to call the American Idol sheep out there. They can tell you who finished fourth place in American Idol seven and a half years ago, but they can't tell you what the Third Amendment or Fourth Amendment or Seventh Amendment is. They have no clue and they don't care. They won't look it up. So my fear here is that dumb Americans also have money. So dumb Americans also live in some of these high crime cities. My fear is that some people are going to buy this thinking it is bulletproof, which it is virtually bulletproof, I guess. If I'm wearing a bulletproof vest, I'm virtually bulletproof. So if people are buying this for the sake of being bulletproof, like guaranteed bulletproof, in these high crime neighborhoods, I worry that they're going to be more bold, more brazen, more going out into problem areas, almost to taunt people thinking that they have a mini tank that they can roll up into these areas, these high crime areas and in bad neighborhoods, and maybe say and do things that they normally wouldn't be able to do. You don't think they'll do that? Yeah, go figure. They'll do that. I promise you they will. And they will get shot because somebody's going to pull out their little Draco uh, AK-47 
and put a bunch of 7.62 by 39 rounds right straight through that, that door that you see that has a bunch of ping marks in it right now. I can promise you a 7.62 by 39, a 5.56, they're going right through that door. It will be like Swiss cheese. So the false sense of security is what I worry about. Do I think it's a great concept? Absolutely. If I could afford a true bulletproof vehicle, I would love to have one. But I worry about the people that it might embolden who think that it's bulletproof and they take chances that they probably shouldn't take. God save the queen, man. I'm sorry, I thought this was America.